What's up guys? Welcome back to our channel. And today we're doing our weekly review as well as the overview of uh, current financial news. So we also want to talk to you about the importance of investing early. Uh, you know, the advice for millennials, right? Like you have to invest early. Millennials are supposed to be like the poorest generation out of, uh, you know, the more like reckless generation um, that ever existed. Well, maybe the future generation Z might be like, we'll see how it goes, but so far millennials are considered like they have no savings and everything, you know, so we also, do we want to talk about this today, this time or no? What do you think? I don't know. I don't even know what we're talking about, but okay. You're going. <laughs> like we're gonna just talk about our portfolio right now. So here we are. We see our portfolio. Bam, six thousand seven hundred sixty dollars, and we got two point two k in cash because um, yeah, I don't understand this market right now. We'll get to that in a minute. So we made like ninety four dollars this week. I don't think we sold any stock. So you know, we got our one Apple stock twenty five dollars over the past two weeks. That's pretty good. Uh, Canadian Natural Resource twenty six dollars. I wish I put more when it was like down um, a couple of days ago, but that's fine. That's good. Uh, my yeah, we'll see what happens. Uh, Carnival Cruise trash, but not complete trash these days. We're down 16, so not too bad. So we bought Crown Castle. Um, this is a REIT stock. Um, it's like 5G LTE um, real estate. So, you know, I like it. And we're only down 50 cents, so that's pretty good. It was down before like a lot more, but now it's pretty good. <clears throat> Delta, um, the Berkshire Hathaway CEO sold a bunch of Delta stock and he told us why he did. We'll go into that in a minute too. Gilead Science is down. Not sure why. Um, PepsiCo, it's up. That's good. Same thing. Shell is down, but this is kind of like a like a playful play. Like we'll see what happens with that. <clears throat> Visa is up finally. But man, I wish I bought more Visa. I wish we bought more Visa. Uh, Walgreens is down. I'm selling that stock as soon as it's you know back up somewhere I'm tired of it um disney is up which is interesting uh, fidelity is up finally after two months since the COVID thing ibbb is good um, vanguard is up finally since the COVID. all right so disney is up even though their um their first quarter review came out and it was pretty bad but it's like as expected, if not like maybe a little better. Disney Plus actually got 50 million or more um, subscribers. Subscribers, yeah. So that's pretty really good. I mean, that's something Netflix hasn't done or any other streaming um, service ever done. So that's that's really good. That I think Disney has like a lot of like ammunition in their arsenal. Like they, you know, they got the Marvel. They got huh? National Geographic. National Geographic, yeah. <laughs> Geographic. National Just so who's not right? watching it. <laughs> and you know, Pixar, whatever, everything else. Marvel, yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Your favorite superheroes, Disney World, Disneyland. Yeah, but that's down right now. So that's what's not making the money. But I mean everything else is pretty good. So they got a lot of weapons and you know they're ready to shoot them out. Warren Buffett sold his stocks of Delta and he explained why in the annual um, Berkshire Hathaway meeting. Which was pretty empty, it looked pretty funny. I watched most of it. Basically, if you're gonna watch the whole thing, half of it is him talking about uh, reciting history, American history, and how America always, you know, gets through everything. And then later he talks about how he sold um, Delta stocks, uh, which is kind of funny because, you know, he's like saying all this. And well, anyway, basically, his strategy is to uh, invest in. You know, the Fortune 500 companies, so anything in the S&P 500, and uh, I think he's right. But I just think the market right now is just pretty weird, so, uh, you know, let's, let's take a look at the market right now, you know, why not? So, alright, here it is, S&P 500, in the last six months, you know, we're almost like back to normal, as if 
this COVID thing never happened. So uh, that's why we have a lot of cash. Uh, we're just waiting for the market to kind of like stop being so weird. And I think, uh, I think uh, maybe inflation is part of the reason why the, the, the stock market is back to normal. Because it's like back to normal. It's not really like normal. It's we're actually down. But because of inflation, we're actually up. Like it just, so the market kind of readjusts itself. But I think the market could still go down. That's the thing. But anyway, so right now, I mean, if I were you, if I were anybody, I'd invest in the top 10 things that millennials should invest in. All right, number one, I think Bitcoin. All right, I think in the future, more millennials are gonna use Bitcoin, okay? And that's where we're investing in a little bit in Bitcoin, especially right now where inflation is starting to show its face a bit. Um, and inflation is the text of the poor guys, okay? That's the truth. The poor people, us poor people, we don't know that we're being taxed because it's like right under our nose, like, oh, every day, like, oh, the Metro is like a little bit more money today. Why? Because we said so. No, not really. It's because of inflation, okay? Your dollar's worth a little less. It's kind of to keep you in the market. Of course, the government doesn't want you to save money. It's not, it's not moving your money, okay? So... A way to beat your savings is to put your money in an investment. Or if you have a business idea, even better, better. Learn how to swing trade something or invest in Bitcoin. I mean, Bitcoin is going up and you can uh, swing trade in Bitcoin. If you don't know how to do swing trade, learn to swing trade. Maybe I'll do a video on it. All right. So number two um, stock that you should invest in is? Um, well, they're, you know, the same test stocks that we invest in. So either Apple or Microsoft depending on what you believe on believe yeah. in more two tech giants guys you know Apple or Microsoft definitely you know if you if you buy Apple stuff then you know buy Apple stock the way I see it is if Apple is doing good and you're making money like let's say you buy like I don't know like 10 stocks from Apple and in a year you could possibly make a thousand dollars so that kind of makes it seem like apple paid for your apple phone you know think about that so that's the way i see it if something if an investment isn't really making me money to buy goods that i like then it's then i i don't deserve that good right <clears throat> uh microsoft everybody in the office you know use microsoft uh computers maybe you're using a microsoft computer right now or Apple, so you know, you pick your pick. Uh, I would pick both. First, so that's like two and three, Apple and Microsoft stocks. Uh, number four, I'm gonna say you should invest in biotechnology company, okay? That's gonna be the future, especially since, you know, this whole uh, COVID thing hit. Um, we should uh, be investing more in biotechnology. I think that's gonna be more important as, um, you know, we continue to progress. Um, number five. <coughs> Uh, well, a lot of millennials do support Tesla and Elon Musk, so if you support and believe in Tesla, you should consider buying Tesla stock. Yeah, same thing as uh, Apple and Microsoft, guys. Um, if you want a Tesla um, car, then, you know, have Elon Musk pay for it, basically, right? If you could kind of like, if you like that idea. I think. All right, so that was number five. Six. Visa. Alright guys, I think millennials like using credit cards. I mean, I do. Um, and you know, people like racking up points and feeling like they get a good deal on stuff. And Visa is a credit provider. Uh, a lot of uh, international uh, places, like in a lot of international countries accept Visa and the US uh, accept Visa. And it's one of the biggest uh, credit distribution. So, um, Visa or Square. This I guess could be five and six. Wait, what are we up to? Yeah, Square is one of them too. Square. So invest mm -hmm. in Square also. Seven. And mm -hmm. uh, if you like, if you believe in the future and legalization of marijuana, maybe look into Canadian um, cannabis companies. Yeah. Can, um, there are a couple of them out there on the on the public market, like. Public uh, publicly trading, yeah. <clears throat> and um, 
depends if you like that, if you support that, I think you should uh, look into that as well. Yeah, we like um, Afria, we're looking at Afria, so there's a stock for you to look, or Aurora. I was oh, like two yeah. Canadian uh, mm -hmm. cannabis companies to look into. Uh, that was eight, nine, I will Disney, why not? Disney or, or nine and, wait, is it nine? Nine, you can say Disney or Netflix. Okay, so nine and ten, we're just gonna put them together, Disney or Netflix, all right? If you're really young, a young in uh, millennial, I would say maybe Netflix, because you know, you're like, you know, edgy, I feel like. But you know, as uh, millennials grow older and like, you're in me, I like Pixar stuff, all right? I'm not gonna lie, all right? And you start like having a family, then you know, Disney's cute, right? So those are all the stocks that millennials should invest in or take a look at, you know? And then tell us, are we wrong? Are we right? Are you leaving a like? Are you subscribing? Let us know in the <laughs> comments below. So peace.